Joined by Hofstra head baseball coach John Russo following a exciting 14-11 win over Delaware in the opening game of a four-game Colonial Athletic Association series. Coach, a wild game, uh, two big innings for the Pride. Uh, your your thoughts on on today's uh, performances? Well, I have a saying: is all Division One wins are good wins, and you know it's a good win. We necessarily didn't play our best baseball, but uh, I'd rather play bad and win than good and lose. And we've had our fair share of uh, good games where we've lost. Um, you know, we we deserve today. I thought um, uh, just happy with the win. You know, I told the team, let's uh, enjoy it. You know, get some breakfast tomorrow morning and, and play better tomorrow. All right. Open up for questions, Tim. So obviously when people are going to look at this offense this weekend, they're going to look at that big inning later on. But what is what how are looking how excited are you to now see Austin's power coming back a little bit now two weekends in a row that he's had a home run and that grand slam being pretty big early? Really big early. You know, um you know, got a nice two out hit there from Alex Sika and then um Larkin gets another single to bring him to the plate. And, you know, that, that's something we needed, you know, like uh, Austin's been big, you know, his last at bat uh, on Saturday, you know, the two out two strike ribby to help set up Rob's game winning hit. You know, Austin's been a great player last few years. He's a great player today. Um, really happy for him. He's getting healthier. You know, we got to remember he played uh, through a knee injury for a few weeks and still a little hurt, but a lot healthier than he's been. Uh, Josh. Hi, Coach. I just wanted to hear your thoughts about that huge seventh inning. Uh, like, what are you going to take away from that? You know, that's not going to happen every day. You got their uh, two best relievers. You know, Ludman, you got to give him really credit. After that five-run inning, he really settled in there and went four scoreless. And then um, – you know, we got him in a little trouble and the kid, uh, Bente, you know, really shut us down uh, two weeks ago at their place on Friday night. And, you know, we were able to get him, him. and then you bring in Wakely and Wakely has been a, a great closer in this league for a few years and, you know, just didn't have it. I was really happy with uh, how the guys were patient, um, you know, not wanting to do too much. Really, you know, Bruggeman to, to make it a one run game, Alex Sika to make it uh, the tie the game. Then you get uh, Larkin, who walks to bring Austin, and you know just added those runs. But I think the big bat for me in the inning was Rob Weishire. He gets the two strike, battled off like four or five pitches, and then you know bloops the single in there to get two more runs. And you know we needed every one of those runs today. It was uh, with the wind blowing out like it was to right field. Uh, the game was you know uh, you know always in doubt to me, and I'm really happy for Mikolasic. You know, uh, really happy with the two freshmen, Kanzig and O'Hanlon, um, holding us close there. And, you know, O'Hanlon got his first college victory today that I thought was really cool. Tim? We had talked a little bit about trying to get Jet kind of rubbed back up after being out a while. Do you think that's been a little bit of the reason with some of the controlled things with the walks lately? Or is it have you noticed anything mechanical or what have you really seen in that area? You know, we've been working on it. We haven't figured it out. Jet knows it. We know it, um, you know, even though he got the win, uh, what was it, uh, two weeks ago against uh, Delaware in his first game back, I, you know, we didn't think he threw great. Jack didn't think he threw great. You know, at the end of the day, he had a 6-3 lead when he left the Towson game. And, you know, just more of the same today. And, you know, each outing, it's a little different. Some outings he has a slider, you know, against Towson. He had a breaking ball. Today he had more of his fastball and couldn't find his off speed. I mean. You know, the thing I didn't like is the walks. Obviously, you know, Jack had been, you know, a high volume strikeout guy and low volume walk guy. And I think it was um, four of his seven runs or eight runs, whatever he gave up were walks. You know, Kansas hits a guy and they score. Um, you know, Aljo hit a guy there and he scores. You know, we, we, we can't be walking and hitting people. Those add up to be runs. Um, you know, we got to get Jack Jet back. You know, I, I talked to him after the game today and you know, he may be available on Sunday uh, for us. And um, I, I want to see him throw. When he puts it together, is as good as there is in this league. Tim, do you have another question? Yeah, I'll just end with this. Um, the term we've used for Joyce in the past has been stopper. Now you get to use him as someone that gets to bring the momentum forward. How confident are you having a guy like him ready to carry in to, tomorrow after a win today? 
you know, Jimmy's pretty special. You know, we've counted on him all year, so we'll count on him tomorrow. And, you know, the thing that, you know, at least I noticed during the game was, you know, you, you have Morash out with an injury right now with his broken hand. And, you know, you get him and Jimmy for nine innings couldn't have sold out harder for their teammates, you know, um, into every pitch. If you look in the dugout, Joyce is at the front of the dugout, um, you know, just locked in. And part of his success is like knowing the other opponent and knowing the hitters. And he really likes this game too, where, you know, you can get an idea of how he's going to pitch and, you know, Jimmy is, it hasn't happened by luck. He's super prepared and uh, gets everything he deserves. And, and how hard he pulls for his teammates, I think, is the other big reason we all pull for him is, you know, we sell out. So, you know, it's nice to have Jimmy going tomorrow. We'll be really thin in the pen. So we need some uh, innings from him. And uh, hopefully we can get some runs early. Any other questions? All right, Coach, thank you for time. Congratulations on the win. Thanks, guys.